Philippone is a New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf-lawfirm.com. Hi, I'm Rob Guswaller. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Have you ever needed a day to relax during these stressful times? Well, then look no further than Modern Acupuncture. Modern Acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quarter service question at 973-377-1915. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak NERD. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here. The demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website. ICSHVAC.com. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. 
Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Midge Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or a refinance of your current home, and she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Choosing a college is a big, big Big deal. But I know I started right because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. Philippone is a New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf hyphen lawfirm.com. Hi, I'm Rob Guswell. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Have you ever needed a day to relax during these stressful times? Well, then look no further than Modern Acupuncture. Modern Acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. Hmm. Huh?
At Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quote or service question at 973-377-1915. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here, the demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website. ICSHVAC.com. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or refinance of your current home. And she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Choosing a college is a big, big Big deal. But I know I started right because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you.
set, and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti, oh! in the end zone, it is caught. Charge, good for the pass, here's a shot, right in front, score! And that is a base hit. The run will score, and freshman pull a check. Gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three. He got it! Uh -huh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome live to the Menon Arena in Morristown, New Jersey. Morris Plains, to be exact. It's time for some more Sussex Sports preseason hockey. Host Brett Lupter just came up just in the nick of time. Yes. Did you get all of the pictures? Yes. Oh, my. Impressive. <laughs> I am so very impressed. Uh, just the battle. I, there may be one or two that, that I didn't Agreed. quite get. Uh, You'll need that. I, I'm here, Yes, I, I will do Yes. <laughs> Dave Hasekin is here as well. Yes, hello. Oh, by the way. <laughs> and it's an interdivisional matchup here, interconference matchup, if you will. Pingree Big Blue coming into town to take on the Chatham Cougars. And really, the story for Pingree last season in terms of a team, 6-15-1 in the regular season, or in the entire season, 2-8-1 within the Skyland Conference. So they were 3-15-1. And then finish it on a three-game winning streak, winning the Skyland Cup. Yeah, that that was one of the again one of the big stories of last year in the entire state was Pingree, who really did not have a good year, all of a sudden turned it on, literally at the only time they could, and bought home some hardware last year. They bring back some pretty good scores this year as well. Keep an eye on the number eight of Charlie Sherman. He had ten goals, four assists last year, and Henry Pine, number thirty-four, who had eight and seven. On the flip side, Chat and this is a big old Navy battle yeah. with the colors. But on the flip side for Chatham, you're going to see some familiar faces. Doyle Curry, Ronan Curry, of course, but a new one. Nikita Konevich, number 22, Sean. Absolutely. Again, we, we go, we've, we've been over it a couple times in, in the uh, previous game that we had here. It's all about what are the newcomers going to be able to do uh, for these teams. And this is a oh! Well, that's a way to start it. <laughs> oh, by the way. Good evening. Some contact. Good well, evening. This, <laughs> uh, listen, Skylands Conference, okay, we'll hit you. Because that, it's a that's a hard-nosed division that they get to go up against. Pingree say, in that conference. I was about to say, you would know a lot about that one, Sean, from your school days. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the funny right. part is, is that they didn't play too much. They were more club then, but yes. Right. This goes around the boards to the far side. The ice poked away, and Big Blue's got a two-on-one coming in. Here's a shot that goes wide. Nate May, the goaltender, number one in net for the Cougars. He is opposed by the number 30, Erasmus Bergman. Nice, nice pull check away. And here's Big a takeaway in on a breakaway. Kuzner in the save me. Kuznir, I should say, number Tyler Kuznir, number 16. And this is a big, big point of emphasis looking at Chatham for this <laughs> year. They've got obviously some, some as we Oops. take a look at this opening hit, hello. <laughs> but the, the yeah. biggest question, one of the big questions for Chatham is who takes over for Michael Park in net? And Nate May had some experience. He, had, he I believe he played at least one game, maybe two, uh, last year. He had an 820 save percentage, only faced 20, 27 shots in total. But it's his net now, and he, he's, he certainly looks like he's gained a few, uh, a few inches and a few pounds of muscle. So we'll see how he can fill in, but there's some options as well Snow at the goal line. Snowden Lang is the backup for the Chatham Cougars, as this one's sent in. And Snowden Lang, we've heard some good things about the Chatham coaches, like what they see from him. Already playing AAA hockey for the uh, New Jersey Youth Devils. So, All right. it's, it's, it's if you're playing AAA as a freshman, you, you know what you're doing. So this that'll be bit. very interesting to see what happens. A little bit. Chatham in the white jerseys trimmed in a lot of navy. Pingree in the navy jerseys trimmed in some whites. And a 
another nice hit the other way from Big Blue. Pingree Big Blue, the mascot is a bear. Uh, it is a, it is a, an institution, a, a school, uh, for, uh, first of all, with a lot of intelligent men and women in it. I call them men and women, young men and women. And they really, as that one hits the side of the post, it's really a, a place where not only, you know, they have some of the most well-rounded students. That's a shot that goes wide. A lot of their students participate in the athletics that the school has to offer. And they've got all sorts of them. You know, they've even got ski teams and they've got fencing and they got you know, all different sorts of stuff, along with this, you know, normal sports you would see in high school. As a collision behind the net and this comes back out the center ice. But it's one of the things that really makes the Pingree School attractive to a, a lot of uh, students is that well-rounded uh, ability. That yeah, goes uh, knocking wide, rebound behind the net. That's, and, the, and again, what that breeds is a lot of good, you know, a lot of good athletes, obviously. And so I mean, looking at the record of Pingree last year, it was a little bit surprising that they had the struggles that they did. Uh, but again, coming out of the Skyline Conference, very, very difficult opponents in there. But as you can see here, they can more than skate with a, with a men and team in Chatham here so far in the early going. But Chatham showing some good wheels in the early going here and some feistiness from both teams as well for a preseason tilt. Yeah, and that's honestly um, you know, the way really just both of these teams are set up to, to play. Here's a three-on-three three the other way. Centering feet in front's knocked aside. And obviously we'll talk more about Chatham as the game goes on here because they are a regular fixture here for us at Men and Arena as yep. they come into the slot with a circling chance from Matt Masinovich. Um, but it's, it's a team that, you know, got plagued by injuries last year, are looking to come back in a men and division that last year kind of lost a little bit of its luster. It, it really wasn't, you know, there were a lot of upsets. It was a lot more competitive. The, you know, the better teams were not super high up in terms of the state playoffs and that sort of thing. So it'll be interesting to see what the entire division does this year, Chatham included. That's out in front and then slides wide of May's goal. We do want to tell you this game is brought to you by Parham, located at 242 Main Street in Chatham. <laughs> Give a little more, bit more of a read in a moment or two, we hope. Yes. Hard to do those in a hockey game. Yeah, especially when we haven't had a whistle in a bit. Haven't had a whistle yet, I don't think. There has been one. One, maybe one. Toe drag, backhand goes wide off the stick of 34, Henry Pine. Pine wearing some uh, familiar light blue gloves there, Brett. That shot is off the mark, rebound near side. And uh, now Pingree will have to retreat back towards their own end. Yeah, those are hitman gloves. 34. Yeah. I'd, I'd take a look for a moment. Like, yeah, no, no, those are. Pine, I believe, plays AAA for the hitmen. Pretty short. 18s. I think so. Play with Hollis. That's another name we'll get to. We'll hear a lot of this year. Hollis Humphreys. Yep. And a penalty coming up. Oh, there's your stoppage. Well, the stoppage tells us that established in 2018, Barham, located 242 Main Street, is a specialty boutique offering custom made to measure and ready to wear apparel, footwear, gifts, and accessories for men and boys. One stop shop for all your shopping needs. Barham, located at 242 Main Street in Shadow. And our first penalty. Who's going in the box there, Dick? I want to number 22. That is the new one of the newcomers, the sophomore Nikita Konevich. Another player we've been told to look out for. Plays AAA for the Rockets Hockey Club. Which one? Not sure. He's a sophomore though, so that might give you a clue. He's point. probably fit. This puck is sent up and all the way back down. You see Dawn's Hallmark shop uh, up in the top right corner as well. They're also sponsoring the game today. We thank them as well. Here's a skate through the zone. And that, stick, that shot goes wide, takes the lively kick point. Now the other direction. Here's an opportunity. Centering feed in front. Save made by Bergman. Good centering pass in front. But Chatham unable to score. And I'll tell you what, Brett, check out this crowd in front of us from Pingree. They have made the trip for this contest, but what a save this is from 
Rasmus Bergman, just a sophomore, was the regular starter last year as a freshman for Pingree. And an 870 save percentage, so he, you know he's only going to improve, and he showed his chops there on a breakaway coming in shorthanded. I only wonder, I'll have to check around for it in a moment. Yes. I'm not surprised that Pingree uh, fans have come out. Not surprised at all. There's a shot that's blocked. Keep in mind, there'll be some players in the Pingree squad that play for the or have played in the past for the New Jersey Colonials. Yes. And so obviously this is their home ring. So that wouldn't surprise me at all. Here's Pine dancing throws. Cuts to the middle. Whoa. And it's swept away after the initial save. Silky pair of hands there from Pine. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah, but a great job by the goaltender, though, for Chad, just to stay square, not try to do too much. Got a stick on it, I think, to just he, poke it a little bit enough. He definitely did get a piece of it as that gets sent back out. And again, a big year for Nate May, taking over the starting role for Park, who was there as a starter for at least at least two years, if not three, I believe, for Chatham. Again, a Chatham team, 5-14-1 last season, 4-7-1 in the men in division. They did get to the uh, semifinal game before losing out to... Mars Knowles, that's deflected in front wide. Wow. Was it, was it, uh, backhand in front. Oh, 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 wow. What a block. How did that not go in? A defenseman was there. A, a defenseman wearing, or a player wearing number four of Doyle Curry. And the mask came off, and that got the automatic whistle. Mist, Mr. Curry did his best soccer selly with the, the two-knee slide on this one to save it. Watch him come across. Hello. No, this wow. is my head. What a play by Doyle Curry. And again, That's, re uh, remember, the Curry brothers are one were of the, were the big missing pieces for Chatham last year. Yeah. They missed a lot of games. You can see why they are, they are so happy to have them back, how important that leadership is for this Cougar squad as the pennant is over. Yeah, He's we're not afraid to throw himself in front of the puck either. No. And in fact, talking to Doyle briefly when we were taking their headshots before the game, I asked him, I'm like, hey, how you feeling? And he go, just looks and goes, healthy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, so glad to hear that as this goes down for icing. Gives us a chance to tell you our number one priority at Dawn's Hallmark Shop is to be a space where our customers feel welcome at home, relaxed, and inspired to be a space where unforgettable memories get their start. Perhaps buying a gift for yourself, for our home decor, candles, stationery, or more, or perhaps you're buying the party essentials to make festive memories for your loved ones. Whatever you need, we feel blessed to be a place where these moments get their start. Visit us at dawnshallmarkshop.com for more information. Located in the Hickory Tree Plaza in Chatham. Centering beat out in front, knocked down, shot save made. And the rebound, steer to side. That was Bergman in net there. And I think the biggest thing, obviously, missing the Curry brothers was a, a, a big loss for town last year. Yeah. But allowed some of the other depth players to really shine. Obviously, you talk about a newcomer like Matt Nasinovich, who had a great year last year. You talk about a Connor Galise, who yep. had 5-5 five and five last season. Isaac Suh, as a freshman, had a great year. He came out of the gates firing. So it really allowed... Chatham to build their depth with minutes that you know it, it you got thrown into the fire pretty quickly and yeah. now you bring back the leadership of the Currys with a bunch of players that have now got good solid experience on the top lines there's a reason this Chatham team I think is one of the favorites in the men division this year well you know you're gonna have to get around <laughs> yeah. well <laughs> we well you guys have seen Marstown beard there's a whole there's a handful of teams that they're gonna need to get around Yes, and, and and Marstown moving back up to the men in division as well, so that can't be that, that can't be looked down on in any way. Are they before. going back? Yep, they are. They are up replacing Madison. This yes, year in the men in. The men in division this year has got Marstown, Beard, Randolph, Morris, Knowles Hills, Chatham, and a Marstown bumped up from the Halverson. There's a two on two the other way. That shot deflected into the corner and then behind the net. Steered out in front. Ooh. That's going to be gobbled up and held on to a stoppage of play here with 5.52 to go in the first period. We talked about this in the first game that we just called, Brett, between West Morris and Roxbury. The pace so far in this game for a preseason tilt has been excellent. The competitiveness is there. You love to see that as a coach because sometimes these preseason games can just turn into a lull. Not tonight. Now, men in division versus Skyland. Uh, men in division and Skyland Conference. It, yeah. Yeah, you exactly. got you got some good movement and you got some aggressive physical hockey. I don't know if Pingree really is a team that adopts that as much as the other teams do in the in the conference, but they play it. Ooh, and there's Happy a hit and a penalty. There. 
Penalty against In front, Chatton. trying to say made by May, and then we get a whistle and a stoppage of play, and a cross-checking call will be made. Gives us a chance to let's take a look at the goaltenders real quick uh, between the two sides. Rasmus Bergman on the Pingry side last season, an 870 save percentage, uh, made 466 saves on the season. Flipping around to the other side in eight May, he stopped 22 out of 27 in his appearances last season, allowing five goals, the 820 save percentage. That uh, we'll get to the moment. That was brought to you by Bought Home. Gearing up for the holidays, need an outfit for Christmas or a tuxedo for holiday parties and New Year's. No, no further, but home has you covered. Open 10 to 5, Tuesday through Saturday. Friendly and professional staff are here to help you. Here's an entry into the zone, a bouncing puck centered in front. Not there. Shot and a save made by May. Rebound popped home. No, no off never the post. mind. I thought that went in. It didn't. Barely made. That barely didn't go in. The magic post helps again. In front shot, save May, rebound loose. Another pad saved by May. Okay. He's been busy early, 10 shots on him. Backhand, that gets the side of the net and goes wide. May almost got caught leaning too far. Yeah. But, wow. He's, yeah, he's, he's certainly getting tested in his real first game here as a, uh, the varsity's number one, so. It doesn't even look like he's breathing too hard right now. You can see him on your screen right there as they come back up. That puck almost and was a turnover instead of knockdown. And Pingree comes out to center ice and into the zone. The 19 is Tyler Jones. He gets bottled up along the boards. Picked up there by the 18 of Bryce Crosby. Out to the blue line. That came out of the zone. Delayed off. Yep, that's going to be blown down and offside. Is Bennett Crosby, number 15, couldn't hold it in. Let me give you the full read. Gearing up for the holidays. Need an outfit for Christmas or a tuxedo for holiday parties, New Year's Eve? Look no further. Par home as you covered. Open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. Our friendly and professional staff are here to help you. Can't make it during store hours? No problem. Private appointments are also available weekends and weeknights. Par home located at 242, 242 Main Street in Chatham. We might have to go there if we uh, decide to go to the Morris Lesson Sports Holiday Party. Turn what? up a fancy dress. Oh, yeah. That's uh, <laughs> next Sunday. Uh, Wait, what? That's, yes. That's a thing. G George mentioned that while you were down taking photos. There's a holiday party at the uh, the residence of one Danny Weiss. Oh, I, can, oh, I can do that, actually. <laughs> I got one game. It's at 840 <laughs> at, at BSA. I can do that. What time is it? It's like at 1 o'clock. Oh. Afternoon at, holiday party. At, at Danny Weiss's place. Power play is over, by the way. Back to full strength here. It's tied up along the boards and then sent in down low. Trying to gather and then getting bumped for his efforts. Tyler Jones, number 19, worked free. Centering pass in front. Save made by May. Wow. Rebound, side of the net, and we get a whistle, and I think the net came off. Yeah, it did. A stoppage with 2.55 to go in the first period, and Nate May has looked impressive early on. He certainly has, and from somewhere in the great beyond, I can hear Eddie McCarthy screaming about the goalposts. Uh, he, by the way, uh, Eddie, uh, Eddie texted me in between games, how dare Sean disable the chat so I can't demand story time with Brett? How dare, wait, wait, wait. And me? I demand they fix the moorings. Me? me? He's, he's blaming me? you. You're me? The one the he's blaming you. You're the one of the controls. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, uh, no. <laughs> hey, wait, just, just a no. Just because, just because I wanted to for a couple of broadcasts because of reason doesn't mean that it's because <laughs> every other one afterwards has the chat disabled. Okay. Listen. <laughs> also, uh, also received a text from Mike Gurness. He's busy watching the first place New Jersey Devils. Uh, but he said, very interested to see how Chatham does this season because he believes, quote, the Menon is wide open. Here's a move into the, I'll tell you what. It's we just saw. wide open as Beard will allow it to be. Well, yeah. Uh, well, remember, this is a very young Marstown Beard squad. Yes, this it is. That's my point. But I'm going to say this. It's a very fast one because oh. we watched them play yesterday against Montclair Kimberly. And boy, were they flying. And they should have won by a lot more than they did. Yeah. I mean, I will say also this. If there's any division that's going to have speed, it's the men. Yes. So, yes. And, and, and Chatham right now is sticking with this Pinkery team pretty good. So they might be able to match Mobeard for speed. That's the great question. But, again, the great unknowns is 
Morristown graduating a huge senior class last year. What do they bring back? Right. You've got a Mars Knowles Hills team that is trying to catch their swagger oh. a little bit. They didn't really have it last year. That's a nice save there save. by Berkman. Yep, and he holds on with 155 to go in the period. And, of course, the quiet team in the room is Randolph because you know they're going to be fighting for every game in this division also. And they've got a lot coming back, too. I have a feeling they're going to have another good batch of young youngsters coming in. <laughs> this, I just, this, you know. This could be. Who, Marstown? No, Randolph. No, oh, Randolph, yeah. This this could be a very, very interesting season in the men in division. Like I said, I, I, looking at the divisions for our preview show on Morris Sussex Sports, which will be coming up hopefully next week, the only division I can see maybe a semi-clear favorite is the Charette. Other than that, this entire conference is wide open. Which, what's that favorite? Montville? For me, I think it's Montville. I, I, I think they I think they have a, a bit of an edge on the other teams, but not by much, but enough that there's, there's some daylight, I think. Okay. More pass, to in, on more pass in the middle and comes to the near <laughs> side boards. There's some Skyline Conference action right there. <laughs> Big hit. Yep. 24. Big, nice job there by uh, Kirilico. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Adrian Kirilico, number 24. Well, we saw that. With, oh, there's a big hit in the corner, too. You know, Chatham response. Listen. There's <laughs> you're gonna play up. You're gonna play a Skyline team. You gotta be. You gotta be able to bring the body. Or well, else you're going to be having a long game. Well, who do we see? What, was it, it wasn't 100 and Central last year. Who do we see last year in the Watch playoffs? On. Watch on Hills. That <laughs> the other team that can throw the body. So well, Watch on Hills. I don't think Watch on Hills was a playoff game. I thought it was a. That's right. It was re end of the regular, regular season. season. Correct. Centering feed in front, broken up. Out towards the blue line, picked up there by Dylan Galliardi, number six. Going down low, and that's poked away. Right into the path of Rum Kostrowski, number 15. Oh, the brave block by Pine, by the way. He got a piece of that with his shin as he slid across. This will come up and out to center, trying to weave his way through. Nikita Konevich, number 22, shot and a save made and a hold on by Rasmus Bergman with 23.6 seconds to go in the period. Get this reading now because I think we got a couple of pictures uh, to go through between periods. Yes. Uh, number one priority at Dawn's Hallmark Shop is to be a space where our customers feel welcome at home, relaxed, and inspired. Whatever you're in need, we feel blessed to be a place where your moments get their start. Visit DawnsHallmarkShop.com for information on how you can get your memories going with home decor, candles, stationery, and more. Located in Hickory Tree Plaza in Chatham. Out to center ice and moving in, jo uh, Joaquin Stevenson, number 17. That sticked wide, six to go in the period. Fed back out to the blue line and shot deflected off. And the period will come to an end. Let's see how much time they put up because they got the full eight minutes to warm up. Let's see how much they're going to put up for intermission. I hear the beeping from down below. Three minutes. So we'll stick it right here for now. And uh, and, and I, I said I bring this as a former member of the Pingree family. You never really leave the Pingree family, but uh, during the uh, off season, the Pingree family lost their beloved coach John Magadini. Coach Mags was at Pingree for 25 years, essentially 20 years as the head coach. Before that, he was with Del Barton, an RPI graduate, won the national championship with that team in 1954. 1952 lacrosse as well, served in the United States Marine Corps. And they've now named the alumni game that they play every year in his honor, the John Magadini alumni game. Uh, and there you see some of them this past year. Good to see uh, one of my former uh, players when I coached at Pingree, Hannah Beatty in the right there. She part of the uh, festivities that happened just this past Friday. Hannah playing, of course, for Connecticut Whale in the um, what was the national PHF. Women's Hockey? Yeah, now it's PHF. Uh, but everybody getting together. Uh, he had so many good players that had come through, so many good peop, uh, people yeah. that had come through the program. And the thing about John, uh, uh, Coach Max, that I remember from when, we were, when I was with Pingree, is, is as, as good of a coach and as good of a mentor he was to all the coaches uh, and all the players throughout, he was an even better guy. He was just an even better person. And so... Uh, we definitely uh, send our condolences to the McAdini family and, of course, the Pingree hockey family as well. 
uh, but a wonderful, wonderful man. Uh, and Coach Magadini who passed away back in May. And uh, the, uh, the state of hockey in New Jersey is just not going to be the same without Coach Mags uh, at the rinks because you could always see him there. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I never had a chance to meet the man, so I, I won't, you know, speak on um, on my behalf for him, obviously. But uh, from, you know, the stories that, I've you know, we've heard from you and obviously you working with him while, during your time at Pingree uh, sounded like not just a wonderful man but an incredible coach and, uh, you know, certainly one of the one of the pillars of New Jersey high school hockey. And, I, uh, I just remember my, my second year with Pingree, the, the boys had a game on the red rink at B, uh, BSA, and the girls had a game on the blue rink. And after the, the guys got done, Coach Mags and a couple of the others and then the, the rest of the guys later on, they all came over to the blue rink to watch our game and massively supportive. I remember, we won the game that day, and he came down and congratulated everybody as they were coming off the ice. This is the kind of person he was. He, he loved hockey. Um, he built – he was the one. You see all those Del Barton names over there on the Men and Cup champions? Yeah. He's the one that started that program. Wow, yeah. Started so, with them in 1982, and by 84, they were winning Men and Cups like crazy. Seems like a pretty good legacy to leave behind. Two, oh, two tremendous programs. An absolutely brilliant legacy. And, again, uh, we celebrate that uh, from Coach Max. Second period underway. Sent out to the blue line. Wrist shot gets glass. As that scared the living daylights of somebody behind the glass. Uh, there's a few people back there, a couple students, and, yeah, that got it. <laughs> Even though there's something there, you always flinch. Yeah. I, I will not lie and say when I'm walking through the back of the ice vault arena sometimes and a glass gets hit, I, I flinch as well. Especially rink one because there's not much room there and just echoes back on you. Look uh, out. Centering feed in front of return Ooh. pass. That's the post. Tell you what, P Pingree's got some awful puck luck tonight. They could have had yeah. a couple by now. Still, they got one there. That's putting it home is Tyler Kuznir, and it's one nothing Pingree. Well, that's been that's been coming for uh, Big Blue here in this game. Chatham has skated with them, but the great A opportunities have definitely gone in their favor. That one goes over the shoulder of May. Nothing much he could do there through some traffic, and Pingree finds a one nothing lead. So Big Blue takes the lead here, 55 seconds into the second period. By the way, that is a dark blue for Pingree. I mean, I know Chatham's also a navy blue, but that is a almost a black for Pingree, those jerseys. those are. It's, it's a navy blue. That's very navy. I, I, can, I can assure you it's a navy blue. Comes around to the near side and then up and out to center and all the way back into the Chatham zone. Four check being put on by Freddie Field, number 11. He wins the puck, and it's behind for a moment. On the head, trying to weave through. Kinevich, that shot blocked in front. Oh. Save made and held on to by Bergman. And Bergman, again, he was impressive last year as a freshman. He's looked really good as a sophomore here. If if the Skylands Conference is paying attention, yeah, Pingree's not going to be the doormat in the regular season that they were last year. 5-14-1, nope. to no, 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 no. If Bergman plays anything close like to this, what he's doing so far, right, it's a team that's going to be 500 or better at the very least. And, you know, in a very competitive non-public bracket. <laughs> you think so? That could be fun. <laughs> you, you think so, Doctor? Slightly competitive in the non-public? A little bit. I will say this though, Nate May has also looked very good. Looks yes, like he like is that he's he's definitely grown from last year to this one. And he's he's done a nice job. He's showing good reflexes so far tonight. And he's gonna need that in the men in division. We all know some of the weapons that he's gonna be have to face. Especially uh, one Hollis Humphreys who's looking to, by the way, break the record for scoring at Morristown Beard uh, going into yep. this season. So uh, but you know, so many weapons of so many of the men in division schools, he's gonna have to be ready. He looks at right now. Set aside, and now Pingree looks to come out. Do we have the comments on for this game, by the way? No, I guess I can turn them on. 
if for no other reason than to get any card. Look out, 3 0. And 1 2 score. Crosby left it, Kellen finished it. 2 0 Pingree. And this is what the preseason is for, for Chatham, is to get rid of these kind of bre defensive breakdowns. A miss there, and, and a little bit of a slow line change there for the defensive pair. And you see there, tried to come back, tried to you know, disrupt things in center ice. Nice job by the Pingree forward there to avoid the hit. And then they were off through the races. But again, this is preseason. It does not hurt you, but this is the time to learn. And I'm sure Chatham will be studying that on film. Ethan Cowan gets the goal. Bryce Crosby gets the assist. To make it 2 nothing. Colin last year as a freshman, a goal and an assist as this gets swept away. Tyler Kuzner added himself four goals and nine assists as a freshman last year. So you're getting those freshman contributions. Joaquin Stevenson last year as a freshman at two and six. The sophomore Charlie Sherman, 10 and 4. So again, that's a, that's a lot of contributions coming from the younger guys. Tyler Jones, uh, no, the number 19 last year at 5 and 11. Freddie Field, the goal in three. Bryce Crosby, 2 and 3. His brother Bennett. Oh, uh, look at that. Oh. Nice job there. Curry started that. Just couldn't finish it. Nice pass there from Doyle Curry. And Bergman is a sophomore goaltender, so. It's a young, yes, they're going to, you got a bunch of seniors on the team, but you're seeing the, the heavy lifting, the contributions coming from the younger guys. Yeah, and it's not a huge senior class. I think when I looked at the roster this morning, I believe it was five is what I saw on the right. list. So it's not a massive senior class. So Pingree, the next couple of years, is a force to contend with for sure. Now here comes Chatham out of the zone. Isaac's son, number 10, chips into the zone. Throws a pass across. That shot, save made by Bergman. Rebound controlled, lobbed up and out to center. Kicked on over to Doyle Curry. Sends it up the near side boards. Pingree gathers once more. Spun around the boards here to the near side of the ice. And now the Cougars look to come out. A little pass feathered ahead and a good defensive play that time by Jorge Capizudo. Uh, Number 21, otherwise, that would have been a problem. Henry Pine into the zone. <laughs> Two guys try to hit him, and he just kind of shrugged him off. Uh, I think, uh, Brett, we might need to make a recommendation to the uh, Hitman staff about Mr. Pine, because he's uh, he's showing some pretty good pretty good features so far. There's still some time to, to move on along to the <laughs> Premier and MCDC. By the way, speaking of... Uh, the NCDC team. Yes. Um, one, uh, a certain individual on Marstown that we all know by Francis Eklukevich. Yes. His younger brother is on the Marstown team now. Right. Uh, and Francis himself is, uh, has been skating practices with the NCDC squad lately. Interesting. I yeah. know he was with the premieres to start with, but. That makes sense. Knowing what we saw from him in the men's division the last couple of years, uh, not surprised. Yeah. Not surprised. And. And the nice thing is, too, we don't have to worry about his name. Nice play. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, nice play, nice goal. Oh, by the way, 3 nothing Pingree. And when you have loads to talk about, these are the things that happen. Oh, hey, nice head, nice helmet there. Yes, number ah, 16. That's a Rockets helmet. Thomas White. Oh, no, sorry, the other 16. Who's Tyler, Tyler Kuznir. Eh, let me see. Oh, he's got to be 15. Be 15. And it's a nasty backhand That's from him, too. Good backhand, it's, it's, a, it's a great feed from the corner. But oh, they the got a couple of them out there. Good. There's two of them out there. Well, that makes sense because of where Pingree and yeah. BSA is. Yes. That just makes sense. Yes. Right. And they play there, too. Right. Right. We're right. going to see quite a few uh, Rockets and Hitmen players on the ice this season. Yeah. Now, Shot steer to side. Yep. As we often do, top of two of the top juniors programs in the state. Two of? Two of, yes. Two of. D2? Yes. <laughs> Although you did, you, I did see, a, I did hear an ooh when you mentioned the Avalanche AAA. Well, okay, but AAA isn't junior. True. That's true. different. Very true, very true. When you're talking junior programs, there's. There are two. There are two. South Jersey's got the Mercer Chiefs. I will give them their due. That's a big collision. Yeah, that NCDC team has been 
absolutely murdered by the Hitmen a couple of times they played them. <laughs> Yet they're the team that's in first right now, are they not? No, Hitmen should still be in first. I thought they weren't. Anyway. <laughs> As we move on. Mercer's up there, man. Mercer, listen, they've had a good season, but when they've been matched up against the Hitmen the pre couple times I've seen, as that goes out of play. Um, they're up there. I'm not saying I'm not gonna oh, go no, 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 fully. I'm not, yeah, no, no, no. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that, that's the thing is, is they're not a bad team at all. <laughs> the problem is, is they don't match up well. Now, right now they're in second place. Just, they're two points behind them. Yeah, but <laughs> the Hitmen have four games in hand. Uh, Chiefs tell, are tell them Chiefs to play are, more games. <laughs> ah, the politics of junior hockey. <laughs> The Chiefs are set 15 7, <laughs> 1 and 1. The Hitmen are 17 and 3. Nice That's save nice there, save. my May. Are the Rockets at least still over 500? Uh, yes, 11 9, 1 and 1. All right. 24 points in 22 games makes them over 500 point percentage. Ooh. Stuff attempt and a save made by Bergman, and he holds on. This is wide open out here. Uh, this is, this is, now is Doyle Curry again, by the way. He's been all over the ice at the point, he's doing wraparounds. He's going to be a key member for them, for this Chatham team. And they've recovered relatively nicely after allowing those couple of goals. They, they're skating a little bit better here in the second period, trying to catch back up. Still looking for that finisher, though. That's what, that, that's what they're lacking at the moment. That's, yeah. Yeah, whistle on a stoppage of play. So, the Hitmen have played the Mercer Chiefs twice. Yes. They've outscored them 15 nothing. Is that bad? Yeah. <laughs> Seven nothing at Pro Skate, eight nothing at the Ice Bowl. Yes. I just sometimes you just don't match up well against certain teams. They'll yes. next face off a week from tomorrow at Pro Skate. On side skate, here's a wrist shot that Ooh. gets the knob and a stick that time. A tricky wrister by. Uh, Kinevich. That one had Berkman a little bit fooled, but he did well. Got it, got a piece of it. Committed a little too high, but he was able to, the, the puck almost kind of knuckled on him, it looked like. Right. Something. He, he kind of looked, who was the closer for the Atlanta Braves that always put his one arm out? Oh, uh, Craig Kimbrell. Yeah. He, he kind of looked like him a little bit on that one. Just kind of. <laughs> yeah, you do tend to kind of do uh, the, kind of flap, flap like a bird sometimes <laughs> when you're going. Especially when you need to get those high shots. That, that one was the loon, though. You just kind of stick out a wing and just kind of uh. leave it there. <laughs> but again, on a high shot like that, you do what you have to do. It looks like we're going to have a uh, change in goal. We're going to see the new goaltender here for Chatham. Snowden Lang is about to take over in net. 50-50. Yeah, about so right. Nate May. Not bad. Not a bad day for him. Yeah, 14, uh, 17 shots, 14 saves. In essentially what 23 minutes. And now Snowden Lang comes in for his first action. And again, Snowden Lang, just a freshman. And when we get a closer look at him, either at the next stoppage or when the puck goes down the ice, the uh, red and white pads of the New Jersey Junior Devils. Yep, plays triple A for Devils Youth, so you're not No slouch. No slouch in there either. We'll see what he let's see what he's got because again, it, it's you're you're looking at the heir apparent here for Michael Park and Nate May has got the seniority for sure, but if you can have a nice backup, you, you, how seldom do we see, especially in this conference, teams that have two quality goaltenders? Right. You can think of you know put them on one hand, one, you know BSM you can think of as one of them. Uh, last year with I think even Gil St. Bernard you could probably put down there, but. Uh, if you can get a solid number two behind Nate May, it's a good problem to have. This one out front and slides across. Uh, skate up and into the zone. Wide of the goal of Lang. And long pass missed the mark, comes back out to center. Gathered there by Bennett Crosby. Sent right back in, just swept aside that time by Lang. A throw in front, and only gets as far as the blue line. Second effort. Now the sprint. And Chatham controlling. 
We'll have, right. to, Go ahead. we'll have to see if Pingree decides to uh, bring on their backup as well. Javier Trujillo, the number two. I don't think, is there a second goalie on the bench for Pingree? I don't see one, I don't think. No, no, there isn't. So, oh, yes, there is. Right, where are you seeing? It, it, there's a, somebody wearing a, he's right in the middle. Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Not used to that. I'm uh, looking both corners. I'm like, wait, wait, dude. Nope, he was right in the middle. He was sitting down. I'm like, wait, he's right in the middle. <laughs> Got to get a camera shot on him afterwards. That's oh. cool. What a shot. Woo. Get a camera on that first. Wow. The number eight of Charlie Sherman. He had 10 goals last year, and that's a beaut here. That is, I mean, well, welcome to the league, Snowden Lane. First, what a play down low, too, 16. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Oh, what do you Water got? bottled him for <laughs> First shot, basically, he's faced at, it's a, in the high school nets, Come and on, he gets man. water bottled. That's, that's, a, that's a bit disrespectful there from Mr. Uh, Sherman. Yeah, that's but. how you don't. <laughs> well, welcome. <laughs> well, welcome. I, enjoy. Right. Here, have some. Let's, let's see if Snowden Lang can uh, – well, again, well, now you're going to see, you know, what his mindset is for Snowden Lang. First shot, really, and it goes in the back of the net. How do you respond? If you're good, you know that that was a good shot and it won't affect you too much. Yes. Uh, it's sent all the way back down. It'll get spun around the boards. Near side of the ice. Yeah, you're only as good as your next shot, some people will say. Yes, we'll, we'll get a camera shot on Mr. Uh, Trujillo when we get a next stoppage here. Because, uh, well, we know goalies are, are different, but uh, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's a different spot than I've normally seen a goaltender in, in, in the middle of the bench. It's almost like he's breaking up the the forwards and the defensemen <laughs> on the bench. He's just a separator and a binder is what yeah. you're telling me. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and notice how, as the physical play has kind of ticked down in this second period, Pingree's opened it up and has really started to skate well in this second frame. Yeah. Um, and, and, and that could be something that Chatham would take into account is – you know, bringing that physical nature to their game, that might what be what kind of, you know, knocks other teams off their game when they get into the men in division, is using that physical play. Because Bingree did not have a good time in that first period. Second period, they've had a little bit of a field day here. Oh. Yeah, you saw that. In oh. front, look. Oh, oh, nice save made by Lang. Denial on the doorstep. That was Henry Pine Lewis. who was sniffing for one. That's a shot in the other way to save me. Held on to by Rasmus Bergman. And this is what you were hoping to see after that one goal from Snowden Lang. But, oh, what a save that is down there. And let, let's take a look at the at the main screen here. Uh, Mr. Trujillo. Yes. Is that, is that what by the saying? way, <laughs> Mr. Trujillo. Oh, by the way. Uh -huh. Um. He is on the Rockets 18U Triple A team. Not, a bad, not bad for a Triple A two. two. This is the second team in the THF. But <laughs> not, um, not bad for a, a, a your 1A, I guess you would say. Yeah. Not number two, no he's, 1A. He's played uh, the last couple of seasons with the Rockets. In 2021, he was with the Hitmen 15U Triple A. Ah. So. Hole. <laughs> Crossing the dividing line, as we should yeah, be saying. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. So it's not like he's um, he's out of place, just a no. random backup, by the way. No, he, he's just out of place in one place, and that is the bench. <laughs> he's just he's he's the uh, line of demarcation. He's, he's, he's having a good time. I hope the coach doesn't expect him to do a shift. I mean, it's, it's lonely. It's lonely being the backup goaltender for the night. You're talking to the boards. You're messing with the people on the other side of the boards. You like to talk with your teammates once in a while, and he's he's taking full advantage in the preseason. Trying to see through his teammates, but it ain't quite working. Ooh, oh, crossbar. That somebody, one nearly hit it. Somebody crossbar. take over first. I got you. Real, I got you there, bud. Let's grab this real fast. As that one, that, I'll tell you what, that was a heck of a shot from Chatham. Just rang it off the top of the crossbar and into the netting, but a really good look there for the Cougars. Just trying to get, you know, again, they haven't played bad in this game, Sean. No, just, no. Just haven't been on the uh, receiving end of many good looks, and that's credit to the Pingree defense. Wait, on that. Face off. Getting some instruction. I was about to say, the preseason for the linesmen, too. They want to make sure that their instructions are clear. There you go. As this one is taken to the circle, brought inside, oh, and a penalty yeah. coming up against Pingree as Jack Buckley got the stick in amongst the hands and with a hook. Yeah, it's going to be a hook. And oh, yeah. 
Nice work there from Chatham. I think that is number 10. I think that's Isaac Suff. Or is it the 19 of Matt Nasinovich? Hard to tell when the jersey is tucked into the pants. Always a difficult well, thing. Well, wait, which Rockets side is it on? Oh, it, is, it wasn't Nasinovich. Nasinovich was the. It's uh, Jack Buckley. Yeah, Buckley on the penalty, but Nasinovich on the. Who drew oh, who the drew it? Yes. Ah, yes. Because 10s and 19s look very similar when the jersey is tucked in. And now yes, correct. Nasinovich will take over in the faceoff dot. Wins the faceoff, goes back to the point. Chatham trying out the power play. The chance on a one-timer oh. save made by Bergman. Great sliding save as that one was fed to the middle. Good setup there from Chatham, but even better save from Bergman. Ronan Curry, watch this replay here, man. Ronan Curry is going to get a perfect setup in the slot. High slot, wide open, and Bergman oh, 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 oh. shuts the door. Bergman says no. <laughs> Terrific save there from Rasmus Bergman. And again, just a sophomore. <laughs> Just a sophomore, yeah. When will, what's going to happen when he gets better, you know? That's what I have to ask. It's a good shot there through from the top of the power play. Gets blocked in front. Going into the corner goes Chatham. And it's tied up back there now. Yes, out indeed. towards the blue line. Held there and passed on over by Jeff Burke, number three. We're the only three that could ever hand each other off play by play like that. Yeah. It's so well put together. <laughs> Shot deflected, still loose after the save. And the referee, oh, the, the net came off. And we got a stop with 144 to go in the second of a 4 nothing big blue lead. You know, Brett, we couldn't do these games without our sponsors. You want to no. talk about our sponsors yeah, for today's Yeah, I game. would love to talk about our sponsors and love to tell you if you need a gift for the man in your life, come visit Port Home in downtown Chatham. Great selection of unique gifts and accessories certain to put a smile on his face. From barware to books to leather goods and gadgets, we look forward to helping you find the perfect gift. Mention Hockey 22 at checkout and get a 10% discount on your first purchase. Poor home located at 242 Main Street in Chatham. Isn't that partially every man's dream, having a bar in the house? Uh, a little bit, just in the basement uh, somewhere. Yeah, I mean, listen, every man's dream to have a man cave. Yep. Oh, oh, score! Oh. That was ripped. Chatham on the board, courtesy of Nikita Kinevich. And I'll tell you what, that's a heck of a pass and a great setup, but an even better shot because he has to go back against the grain on this goal. And let's take a look at it. That's just a that's a brilliant shot. Mm. Beats him over Good the setup. blocker. And again, Ponyevich is one of the players that we were told, keep an eye on this guy. He's a sophomore. He's not a freshman, but he's been playing AAA for the Rockets. Yeah, you just saw why. That's he's a snipe and a half. Teammates with Matt Nasinovich on that Rockets team, and he's just put pink. Uh, he's just put Chatham on the board. Pingree still up four-one. All the goals have come in the second period here. He's feathered up and out to center, and now here's a sprint through Kinevich again. Gathers, looking, still dangling, and then that's deflected out of play by Bennett Crosby. I think Chatham may or may not have found their mojo. If uh, if Bennett Crosby's skate isn't in the way, that's going top corner again. Look at the moves. Again, this young man's a defenseman. We've seen some moves getting defensemen before in this, de in this conference. That's different. That looks different. That, that's a heck of a move. That is different, man. Think about a guy like Eddie Karpinski who's since moved on. That kind of smooth skating with a lot of speed. But well, that had some swagger to it too, that one. It's an onside skate the other way. 2v4, now three. And that shot blocked mm. off. Who there gets tied up there? Good crunch. But nothing, uh, nothing a Skyline Conference player won't handle. Yeah, exactly. They always like to have some crunch Oof. in their game I day diet. There's one there, too. Now stepping through, Charlie Sherman. Sherman slams on the brakes, trying to throw a sharp angle shot, gets blasted for his efforts. Uh, check that. That wasn't Sherman that got hit. It was the 16 of Kuznir. Fan on the pass, six to go in the period. And the time will run out with a 4-1 Pingree lead. Treat him this holiday season to the best gift of all, the perfect bit outfit. Head to toe, personal style matters, and at Port Home, we specialize in custom made to measure clothing and footwear, catering for all shapes and sizes, big and tall, no compromising on fit. 
You deserve to look and feel your best. Don't forget to mention Hockey 22 at checkout and get a 10% discount on your first purchase. Port Home, located at 242 Main Street in Chatham. Quick timeout, third period when we come back, 4-1, Pingree. Semino and Philippone is a New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf hyphen lawfirm.com. Hi, I'm Rob Guswaller. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Have you ever needed a day to relax during these stressful times? Well, then look no further than Modern Acupuncture. Modern Acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. Hmm. Huh. Dawn's Hallmark, you're from this community, for this community. A number one priority at Dawn's Hallmark shop is to be a space where our customers feel welcome, at home, relaxed, and inspired. To be a space where unforgettable memories get their start. Perhaps you're buying a gift for yourself with our home decor, candles, stationery, and more. Or perhaps you're buying the party essentials to make festive memories for your loved ones. Whatever you need, we feel blessed to be a place where these moments get their start. Visit us at dawnshallmarkshop.com for more information. Located in the Hickory Tree Plaza in Chatham. And also, why torture yourself with a needless trip to the mall when you have everything you need under one roof at Poor Home? From active wear to formal attire, date night to first job interview, we've got you covered and not to forget, and not to forget the younger boys and no special occasions, communions, confirmations, graduations, bar mitzvahs, Christmas dinner, maybe. Do, do, do We're here to help yeah. you select the perfect outfit. Mention Hockey 22 at checkout and get a 10% discount on your first purchase. Paul Home, located at 242 Main Street in Chatham. Might have to browse uh, both of those places. I do have a wedding that I need to plan. So. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, oh, yes, that's right. This guy finally did the thing. Yes, uh, finally, uh, finally engaged as of about two and a half weeks ago. So now the stress really begins. <laughs> How many times have you heard it take you long enough? <laughs> no, that was actually not what I heard. It oh, was, no. I'm going to kill oh. you. Oh, love it. Here's a move. <laughs> and a save. It stays out. Oh, no, it doesn't. Is it a goal? <laughs> it's a goal. It's a goal. Yeah. There was a penalty going to be called, but Kuzner scores again. Was that a Somebody checked a hat on the ice. Somebody threw a hat? <laughs> yep, there's a couple of hats on That'd the ice. Three. <laughs> there you know. Oh, yeah, Will. There I mean, one. look, the, the puck has to be – there's very little chance that the puck's not in the net. Oh, it, it's in the net. Yeah, that that's uh, – We see goalie fishing it out. It's, it's, it's in the net. <laughs> uh, hopefully they'll be able to retrieve that hat from the scoring team. They did already – <laughs> no, the hat came on. One of the Pingree players grabbed it and chucked it back up to the uh, others up well, there. Well, there was there was another one down Section to our six. right here that oh. uh, 
the man in, I believe, the Patriots jersey is now going over to Rick Fleeman. Didn't quite make it. <laughs> the, the slow walk of fame to retrieve his hat. Yeah, if you don't make the ice with your hat, your, your hat's gone anyway, so. Yeah, that's kind of, I mean, unless you're trying to toss it from, like, the rafters, you know, that's a different story. By the way, uh, Jack Hughes hat trick from earlier in the week. One of the more unique ones, I think, in terms of, sh in terms of shot scored. Well, the first one, he went. Second one was a little more conventional. Third one was but, conventional. No, no, third one was conventional. That was a breakaway. The second one was, first one was from behind the goal line. No, off, yes. no, no, that was the second one. No, that was the first one. No, banking. That was the second one. Second nope. one, no, banking he's talking off the about the banking off the goalie. Look out. In front, score! Oh, 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 oh. What a move that time by Freddie Field, and it's now 6-1 Pingree. We'll talk about talented youngsters. We'll get back yeah. to Jack Hughes in a second, but what a move by Freddie Field. Again, just a sophomore. Had a goal and three assists as a freshman last year. I'll tell you what, and again, this is preseason. There's a lot of time to adjust. Chatham's gone to two different goaltenders for splitting time. Right. This Pingree team is good. Yes. Very, very yeah, they look good. good. Yeah. That's why you schedule teams like this, so you know. Oh yeah. You, you can't. Can. You're gonna learn from your mistakes in a game. There's a shot saved made that time by Lang. Rebound to the near side boards and sent back in. Oh, wait, yeah, you're right. The, the first one was the deke around, and he clanked it off the pad. Off the the second the one the second one was the one he clanked off the mask. The, like, the from less shot. than zero angle. Yes. Yes. And then the third one was the breakaway. He had, had another one in a game one. where he, like, did the change up through the five hole. Yes, yes. Devils, unfortunately, not uh, off to a great start tonight, down 2 nothing to the Preds. Are they at home? Yes. Wow. Yeah, that's, a, that's at the Bruce Center. What probably a play in Pecorino, though. What, what a season the Devils have had, by the way. Yeah, Devils and the Bruins. So much for the Bruins being done. Shot pass, shot blocked off, rebound, oh another shot save made. Followed up again and then swept to the corner. And what we're seeing now, gentlemen, is a team that is still trying to find their legs. You're seeing Chatham. Well, they had a their lot legs of for a second or two, but yeah. I know there's a lot of standing around, though, yeah. from Chatham in the last half a period or so. But again, this is what you do in preseason. It's about conditioning to game speed. Right. And this is their first time, I think, is, the, is this their first preseason game, I believe? Or second, Might maybe? Be. But this is when you have to find your legs, and you'll learn it. And they're certainly learning it right now because Pinkery is putting on a show. Foul four along the boards. And now this will start to come out. Tap to head to center before it's sent right back in. And you're going to have to, you know, if you want to compete, well, listen, Chatham is going to have a good chance to compete in the uh, uh, shot save made and a rebound stopped as well. I believe that's a new goaltender, by the way, for Pingree. That looks to be the white mask, I think, of nope, Javier Trujillo. Uh, nah, that's still Bergman, number nope, 30. Nope, it is still Bergman. Okay, never mind. Trujillo has disappeared, either behind the bench or... Yeah, he's, he's, he's in there. He's in, oh, there he is. He, he's by the coaching staff now. They've told him to get away from the rail. <laughs> get, get back here. Where are they? Actually, he's by the two coaches, the, the double pair of coaches on the bench. Right. He, again, he's the demarcation between the forwards and the defense. Yes. <laughs> do not do not pass. Do not pass. Sent right on goal, save made by Bergman, who has looked every bit of sharp as he, you would like him to be here at this juncture of the preseason. I'm actually surprised they haven't gone with uh, Trujillo yet. That, that, and well, we did see that in the uh, first yeah. game. It was like maybe six minutes or seven minutes left. I, I think though too, you might be looking at having Bergman go. If they got another scrimmage lined up for say a night or two for now, you might give Trujillo the full game in that one. Yeah, that let both goalies get a full. 45 minutes in. Yep. Which, uh, you know, we saw, as you said, in the first game that we had today with West Mars Central and uh, Phil Togno got pulled with about six minutes to go to let the backup get in there. And I've heard from Phil Togno Sr. that Junior was not too thrilled about that <laughs> he was uh he, he wanted to play the full 45 and that that's a true goalie though yeah. that's my net you can't take me uh, out of my net i'm winning that that's just like look 
it's the preseason. Let's. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, it was no no hair off his back at the end of the day. He's like, yes. It's like, still. come on, Dad, why are you pulling me? He's like, well, because I want to give the other guy some, some minutes there. What, from the NHL down to the street, no goalie likes to get pulled. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's one of the worst. That's probably one of the worst feelings in sports. All right. McCarthy's going to get story time with Luther. <laughs> if he's in the chat. I asked. I said, hello, Edward. In the chat. <laughs> Does he respond to Edward? That's the question. Oh, uh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I did just get a buzz in my pocket. I don't know if that was a notification <laughs> of the game or whether that was a <laughs> <laughs> side skate the other way. In front, score. Beautiful setup. And it's buried that time by Henry Pine. 7-1, big blue. And, again, th this is just a team that's got a little bit more in their legs at this point. And this is a, a nice it's breakdown. Spread out here. A little bit of a slow change as well from Chatham and yep. they made him pay yep. and, and again this is the stuff okay what do we need to work on before we get into the men's schedule well we've got a couple things for Chatham now. and it's you know making sure the changes are crisp making sure the skating's a little bit better get the uh, cardio back up I, mean, I don't think they're too, I don't think they're too bad in their own zone I don't think they're too bad in the offensive zone no but not at all not at all I think everything else that was actually a nice shot yeah um, everything else is uh, definitely something to, to work on uh, it's just Positioning, you gotta keep your feet moving, you know, fundamental stuff sometimes. Well remember, this is also a different schedule. I was thought when we were I talked to Coach Benbow and he said that not already playing games felt very strange yeah. to him. And the fact that they were not busy over Thanksgiving week was strange. He said it was nice, really? but it was strange. So it, it's you know, this new schedule where it's you know it's meant for the athletes to make sure that they get a rest between fall and winter, which is a good thing. But it, it also does set back the calendar a little bit in terms of your preparation. That's Ooh. a big hit. It's going to draw a penalty. Oh, and some afters, too. A little bit of yeah, a. I don't blame. Yeah. He, it's like, you, you know, trying to stick handle through all my all my teammates. Well, here's here. Here's a little. Crosby will be the one going to the box. Here's a little how do you do. 13 going to come back up. Actually, no, he's not. He's he, he just going to. Put him down there by the and way, then stand over him for a second. By the so. way, an update from the Prudential Center. It was 2 nothing Preds after one. Within three minutes of the second, it's 2-2. <laughs> a pair of goals from the Devils. So so uh, story time with Luthner? Story time with Luthner. Presented by <laughs> Dawn's Hallmark Shop. Is it really? Their number one. Well, for now, it's going to be because we got to get a sponsor in. <laughs> Number one priority is be a space where their customers feel welcome at home, relaxed, and inspired to be a space where unforgettable memories get their start. Gifts for you, gifts for your loved ones, uh, everything else. Visit them at DawlinsHallmarkShop.com for more information located in Hickory Tree Plaza in Chatham. So I was I was uh, coaching a uh, men's roller hockey team out of Montvale, and... Um, the two goalies I had was one guy, Eddie Arietta, and this other guy who's still one of my like close friends to this oh, day. Oh, big hit behind the net. One of my close friends to this day, Rob Correa. And it was Rob's turn to start a game. And you're playing in a tournament, so you gotta, you know, you still have to mind trying to win. There's a pass across a oh. one timer over the bar. Not sure if that was I think that might have been that Saw, was, I, I think it was, I don't know if that was the 10 or the 16, I thought, of Thomas White, potentially. No, it was the 19 of Nasinovich, I 19? believe. And, and he's he's going to want that one back. Yep. Well, he'll no, get it, it was Saw, number 10. Oh, uh, it was Saw. Okay. Okay. There's a wrist shot blocker save made. saw has got it in the corner. Nasinovich has got his jersey tucked in. Yes. More tucked in. It's more of a fold for Saw. Sometimes that happens with the gear. Yes. That pass cut off. And out of his own. So, we're playing our, our second game of this tournament in the round robin portion. Yes. And Rob has a rough first half. It's two halves in this in roller hockey. So that's covered and held on to. And some afters behind the net. Yeah. Easy, boys. It's preseason. Yeah. Relax. So, so like now I'm the coach. Rob's giving up four goals in the first half. That ain't too good. And it's like, and, and some of them are not good goals. So after the fourth one, he turns and looks at me, and I'm looking at the end of the bench for Eddie. There's a problem. 
Eddie had stepped away. That's a men's tournament. Eddie had stepped away with his wife and son to go grab some lunch. <laughs> well, they didn't what? get back in time for Eddie to be back on the bench for it. Because Eddie's like, All right, I'm not going to go get in the game. <laughs> And Eddie sees the Eddie's walking back in, and he sees the score, and he sees me, and I'm giving him the look. And Rob just goes, you can't take me out. Don't take me out. Don't take me out. I look back over to Rob. I'm like, you need to zip it. I looked over at Eddie, and I'm giving the wave of, come on, come on. We were down 5-2 at halftime. And I'm just like, no, Eddie, you're in. Rob was not happy with me that day. Please tell me he went in with a sub instead of his stick. <laughs> a sub sandwich instead. No, no. no. <laughs> he, 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 had, he had already finished eating. Yes. He just didn't get as much time to digest it as he would have liked. <laughs> we ended up losing that game like 6-4 or something like that. Is that sticked into the netting in a stoppage of play with 6-21 to go here in the third? Indoor. But that's Indoor puck roller, right? Yeah. But that's like, you know, I just remember that. And Rob's like. Don't take me. You can't take me out of this game. Don't take me out. Yeah. Don't take me out. I was about to be you're like, like, you're yes. coming out. You're a five. The more you talk, the more you're gonna come. The more you're gonna come out. But listen, if it was five and it was the defense, like just leaving them out to dry, be one thing. But when you're giving up forty-five, like a, a slapper from like 45, 50, 55, and it's beating you clean, no screen or anything. Yeah. And then. Not your day. Oh, it just. It's I not mean, your day. They, there was another one where he kind of. It was a dang it, pretty much. <laughs> he, kinda, he played it. He had a habit of doing that. Played it to the wrong person. It was. I'm like, all right, we, we, did, we can't be giving up these bad goals. <laughs> and then he has the nerve to be. To be you can't take unhappy me out. with you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't take me out. Don't take. We'll still joke about it to oh, this I'm day. I'm sure now, yeah. I'm but like, like, come back on, then, man. he was not happy with me. Come on, man. By the way, here's a shot save made. Rebound clear to side only as far as Charlie Sherman. Nice save again there by Lang, the youngster. And it is now 3-2 Devils after a five-on-three power play goal. Yeah, that's called that's called intermission. Yes. The and goal. locker room adjustments. Dun, dun, the dun, goals dun, dun, scored dun, by dun, dun, Jesper Bratz. And the other two goals scored by Alexander Holtz. And oh, oh, my and goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Well, pardon me. Charlie Sherman, top shelf, bar down, all the goods, cookies and everything. 8-1 to score. That's that's a sick goal. Come on, man. <laughs> it's preseason. Look at this. What are you Look doing? Stick, stick, bip. Bang. From short range. Too, but I, I'll tell you what coach is going to say is why is anybody stepping up to him? Yeah, like I said, the, the, the Chatham coaching staff is going to have quite a few points of emphasis, yep. shall we say, uh, going into practice the next couple of weeks. And again, you're a week out from the season starting. You don't have a lot of time, but I can guarantee you this, they will be ready to skate for the next practice. They better be. Uh, uh, their first regular season game is against Beard, so. Yeah, you better be ready. Because, <laughs> if we again, a young Beard team, but a fast one. And Pingree is that's going to be saved and held on to him. Take nothing away from Rasmus Bergman. He's made 24 saves today. He's looked very sharp. Yes, he has. And, and this whole Pingree team has been very impressive. I mean, Charlie Sherman, again, he's got another year left, too. He's a junior. Had 10 last year. He keeps shooting the puck like this. He could have 30. That's a, he's been very impressive today. But, again, let, uh, let's while we have a few more minutes here, let's talk about this men in division because it's – Again, it is, we mentioned it briefly, but it's kind of wide open between the five teams this year. I want to see the new kids. It's all about who has better, who has, who has the best crop of freshmen. Because okay, yeah. you know the players that are coming back. You know that they would, you'd like to think that they've taken at least one or a half step forward at the very least. It's all about who did they add. And it's what do those team, what do those players bring to the table that, Others in the past might not have been able to. Stick out away, save me, and then we Ooh. get a whistle, and there's going to be a little extra. <laughs> you know, a little introductions and whatnot. While the penalty's being assessed, we want to tell you, excellent customer service is our top priority, and our team is here to help to help make shopping at Bar Home a fun and enjoyable experience. Mention Hockey 22 at checkout and get a 10% discount on your first purchase. Bar Home. Located at 242 Main Street in Chatham. Yeah, I think the I think the biggest question for me is what do the top lines for Mo Beard look like as 
the 46 of Hayden Alpert goes to the box. Because you graduated, obviously you lost low Wait. off that top line for Mobier. Is it 46 or 16? Uh, they have 46 on the board. Can't tell. I thought I saw 16. Might be 16. Could be Thomas White. But uh, no, that's 46. The, the Back of his helmet. Ah, yes, shot. Says deflected wide and slugged around the boards and up and all the way down. Did you say Alpert? No, I said Albert. I thought uh, it sounded like he said Albert, and I'm thinking, what we got Spanish flea going on in here? <laughs> Sorry for the Greek, please. <laughs> uh, but uh, going, again, with 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 Mo Beard, you, you lose Andrew Lowe. You of course lose Noah Jones, who <laughs> was a defenseman, then became a forward and be, and got better. Uh, yeah. But who do you put on that top line with Hollis Humphreys? I well, think that's, that's a big question. It's a flying <laughs> stick goes that, up in the air. Oh, well, that got lifted. Ronan Curry decided he had enough of things and lit, did a stick lift, and that stick just went about 20 feet in oh, the air. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah Josh Angel was uh, not pleased that his stick went flying out of his hands and then almost into the rafters. He's knocked down and sent into the zone. 22 in uh, white. Oh, Davis. some afters behind the play. Oh. There's a move into the zone. Four on two the other way. Sc oh. the way. No score. Forget that. That was stopped. Oh, here we go. One on one. Doyle got in there. Just couldn't get the puck on his stick. And then he'll get into some pushing and shoving with Bennett Crosby, who has uh, made his mark with a hit or two in this game. Yeah. <laughs> it, I'll tell you what. I kind of wish Pingree was in the Menon division. Can you imagine this is the preseason? What the heck would these two teams do if this was a regular season game and they played each other about four more times? No, no I don't. This is a centering <laughs> pass in front. I don't foresee them playing in, in the uh, in the MCSSIHL. No. Uh, no. They, they like their spot in the skyline there. B BSM That's moved a up. crunching but. hit, and that will be held on. Yeah, BSM, who was around that right. same area, they moved up. Yeah, they, they had yeah there was a reason for that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, totally different reason there because they they, came, they did not come from the Skylines. They came from uh, – or did they come from the Skylines? Yes, they, they did. The skyline, yeah. They did come from the Skylines. Where they were just, kind of they were just Yeah, they were getting blasted. Not, uh, not the case here in the MCS no. SIHL. No. They Quite dominated different. the charrette for two years running and now move up to the but house I, where they will I, bring some chaos. I, I think, though, as this is in front of a backhand save made and the rebound covered – with 2.16 to go in the third. Gives us a chance to tell you our number one priority at Dawn's Hallmark Shop is to be a space where our customers feel welcome at home, relaxed, and inspired. To be a space where unforgettable memories get their start. Perhaps you're buying a gift for yourself with our home decor, candles, stationery, and more. Or perhaps you're buying the party essentials to make festive memories for your loved ones. Whatever you need, we feel blessed to be a place where these moments get their start. Visit us at dawnshallmarkshop.com for more information Located in the Hickory Tree Plaza in Chatham. This gets sent all the way back down. And now Pingree will throw back into the zone again. 153 to go. Third period. It's been all big blue. It was scoreless after one. It certainly wasn't after the second. Got a penalty coming up here. And there might be a little bit of frustration going on. That's on Pingree. Or maybe not. Yep, Pingree. It's a tripping call coming up. Again, uh, this uh, a place to work out the kinks, if you will. Who does uh, Pingree start with, Brett? Do you happen to know? Off no, I not off the top of my head. No, I did close it down already. Yes, it's the number five of Jack Buckley returns to the penalty box. They put nine up on the board by accident, but that's all right. <laughs> no the, the official, there. the official, official scores are not in the building yet. That'll be next week. Yes. We are a week away from the regular season, gentlemen. I know. I know. Fun times ahead. And a preview show ahead. Yes. Get that going Wednesday at 4 o'clock. For the MTS SIHL. We yeah. could look at the whole state if we wanted to. We're that good, but we decided not to. We'll look, at the, we'll look at the state when it comes time to play. Also. Yes. Yes. Hit put on there. Now the dip into the zone the other way. Off some cold pizza after this game. Yes. Oh, has a minute to go in it. It's swatted ahead, a shoulder put in. And then spun into the zone by Henry Pine. This Chatham team will be, I mean, listen, they're, they're going to get the lessons off of this game. 
as that's deflected up and out of play. Uh, we, we know, you know, the good program that Chatham is. Well, yeah, this coaching staff will get these guys ready. Uh, it's not a worry. And again, this is, a, you know, Snowden Lang seeing his first high school minutes as well. So, yep. you know, you're seeing a little bit of that, Ooh. the growing pains for a young goaltender. We saw that last year with the likes of Mikey Guananino for Roxbury. So you can't take too much away from that as well. But in terms of what you can control in terms of on ice and stuff like that, there's going to be quite a few things that the Chatham coaching staff will look at and say, uh, boys, we got to go to the, we got to go to work. And in the meantime, on the Pingry side, they've got to be very pleased with how they've come out and played in this one. Uh, the 8-1 score line, and they've, uh, there's another hit. <laughs> the physical style keeps going. Adrian Kirilenko. Uh, Kirilenko, I should say. Last seconds here, wrist shot sails wide. Oh. Bouncing puck still loose. Referee lost sight of it. Net off the mark. came off as well with 3.5 seconds to go. Adrian Kirilenko's had, a, had himself a good game here today as well. Yes, he has. Yes, it's, I mean. He's had a great game. Pines had a great game. Berkman's been very good. Sherman, Crosby. This, Rick this Cowan, is Fields. Pingree is a, Pingree's a good hockey team. Yes, there they are. Go. Guess who their first game's against? Oh. Ridge. Ooh. That's a good guy. <laughs> the, the defending oh, oh. state group, uh, what, B? I think it is. Yeah, it is. B. Champions? Yeah. <laughs> That's hey, good. Hey, have at fun. it. <laughs> oh. They'll have at it, but they had at it today, and it is an 8 1 victory in favor of Pingree over Chatham. Uh, and and what both teams will take some, uh, some lessons out of it. Uh, but Pingree comes away with the seven goal victory. Want to thank all of you for tuning into this presentation of New Jersey High School Hockey here on Morris Sussex Sports. For my broadcast partners, Sean Bretherick and David Hashing, my name is Brett Luthner. Pingree with the 8-1 win. Good night, everyone.